Hello friends, in our last lesson we learned how to solve this equation y square plus y minus 56 equal to 0 by finding the 0 of the polynomial y square plus y minus 56. We use the factorization method of ax square plus bx plus c to solve it and we got the factors as y plus 8 and y minus 7, right? This is what we did in our earlier lesson. Now there is something interesting relation about these zeros and the coefficient of the polynomial. Look carefully, the sum of zeros that we found was 7 plus of minus 8 which is equal to 7 minus 8 that is equal to minus 1 and minus 1 is equal to minus of coefficient of y that is 1 divided by coefficient of y square that is also 1. So it is called to minus b by a. So sum of 0 is equal to minus b by a. And also see the product of the zeros that we found that is 7 and minus 8. 7 into minus 8 is equal to minus 56. And minus 56 is also equal to constant term c which is minus 56 divided by the coefficient of y square that is 1. So product of zeros of polynomials ax square plus bx plus c is equal to c by a and the sum of zeros equal to minus b by a. Let's verify it with another example. Let's take 3x square plus 5x minus 2. This is again of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Here a is equal to 3, b is equal to 5 and c is equal to minus 2. First let us factorize it here a into c product of extreme terms equal to 3 into minus 2 which is equal to minus 6 so we split the middle term coefficient 5 as plus 6 minus 1 because plus 6 into minus 1 is equal to minus 6 so we will get 3x square plus 6x minus x minus 2. Now 3x is common in the first two terms so it becomes 3x into x plus 2 and minus 1 is common from the last two terms so it becomes minus 1 into x plus 2. So it becomes 3x into x plus 2 minus 1 into x plus 2. Now x plus 2 is common so it will get x plus 2 into 3x minus 1. The polynomial would be 0 if either the of them is 0. So if x plus 2 is equal to 0, x equal to minus 2. And if 3x minus 1 is equal to 0, then 3x equal to 1, which is x equal to 1 by 3. So minus 2 and 1 by 3 are the two zeros of the polynomial 3x square plus 5x minus 2. Now let us find the sum of the zeros, which is equal to minus 2 plus 1 by 3. That, that, that comes out to be minus 5 by 3. Taking 3 as the LCM, we'll get minus 5 by 3. Which is same as minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. That is minus 5 by 3. That's equal to minus b by a. And the product of zeros is equal to minus 2 into 1 by 3, which is equal to minus 2 by 3. Now minus 2 by 3 is constant term minus 2 divided by coefficient of x square, which is 3. So it is minus 2 by 3 that is same as c by a. So this relation can easily lead us to the values of the zeros. To put it in a generic way if alpha and beta are the two zeros of a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c we can say alpha plus beta that is sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a that is minus of coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square and alpha into beta that is product of zeros equal to c by a that is constant term c by coefficient of x square. So that's all for now. Bye bye.